Welcome everyone to another edition of Colonel's Corner. Joining us today is Wilkes University football head coach John Druck to discuss the team's Week 7 victory against Keystone College and preview their Week 8 showdown with Susquehanna. Coach, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So we've talked the past two weeks about how off how balanced the offense has been. Mm -hmm. In this 42-7 to win against Keystone, you guys rushed for 503 yards, a new program record. Talk about the offense's performance that game. Uh, I thought the guys up front did a fantastic job. You know, the the weather was not great outside, so uh, limited our passing game just a little. We were still able to balance it up a little bit, but overall we wanted to lean on the run game. That was something in the game plan we wanted to go into the week going with, um, and I thought the guys up front did a fantastic job of executing that game plan. And then when you have guys to put the ball in their hands like J.J. Jordan and Elijah Jules and Xavier Powell, and the list goes on and on and on for us, um, you're going to get some big plays. You know what I mean? Those guys did a great job of creating some big plays after contact. Now, looking to the defense, they only allowed one touchdown in that game. Talk about their day and how, what you saw from them. I thought they did a really good job, especially bowing up a couple times in the red zone uh, and not allowing points and creating turnovers. Uh, I think those turnovers led to points for us at times, too. So uh, I thought they did a good job of really ripping after the football. And again, they were made to be one-dimensional, too, by the weather. Um, and we were able to really load the box up and our guys played physical up front. And those four defensive linemen up front did a great job of controlling the offensive line for Keystone. And then they let our linebackers run free and make those guys make some plays. Now, looking to this week, arguably the toughest challenge on the season number 12 Susquehanna what have you seen from them on film this week a uh, good balanced football team you know what I mean I think they do a lot of things very similar to what we do to be honest with you uh, they run the ball really effectively a uh, quarterback that's a very very good athlete and can beat you with his arm and his legs uh, a couple pretty good receiving threats out on the edge uh, and then a really strong physical back you know on the offensive side of the ball on defense ton of movement lots of pressure uh, a lot of moving pieces uh, on the defensive side of the ball and there's a mix up between man and zone variations like I said I think they're very very similar to, to us as far as that goes. Uh, for us to be able to get the win this week, special teams is going to be huge. Uh, they do a great job on their special teams. Uh, we need to find a way to create an advantage on the special team game. Their kicker leads the conference with 66 points on the year. Now, looking to practice this year for or this week for the Colonels, what have you seen from them? How practice has been going leading up to this game? Practice has been great. Uh, our guys know and understand what this game is for us, and they know that going and play a good opponent. We've played a lot of good opponents this year, so this is not the first good opponent that we've played. So uh, I think, like I said, falling back on some of those experiences from the beginning of the year is going to be really important to us. And we've had great energy and great effort all week, and I think we'll be ready to go. The Colonels take on Susquehanna on the road with kickoff set for 1 p.m. Coach, thank you so much for the time, and best of luck. Thank you.